Hi guys, welcome to Build It Better. Uh, in today's episode, we start building our BMW M50 engine for our 2022 competition car. Yeah, This video is more about the specifics as in the torque settings and timing settings for the actual BMW engine. So I'm not going to film assembling the bottom end, so the rods, the pistons um, and the crank, but I will go through the torque settings for the main caps, um, talk about the rods, what type of rods we'll be using, um, and then we'll get into putting the head on. I was going to make this in one big long video, uh, that probably ended up being about two hours long and I didn't want everybody to sit, that, sit through that. So what we've done is we've split it up between um, assembling the bottom end of the engine, assembling the head, bolting the head to the motor, then going through all the timing gear and timing settings. Um, so make sure you stay through all the way to the end to make sure you know exactly what settings you need and what you need to torque every bolt down to and also make sure you don't make any mistakes along the way. Alright, so here we've got a whole bunch of boring stuff, so I'm literally not going to film assembling, deassembling and reassembling the pistons and the rods, but there you'll see the factory 2.8 litre rods um, on the 2.8 litre piston, and then these here are the chunky I-beam rods that come out of the M50 B25 non-Vanos, early non-Vanos. Um, and everyone said that these can go up to about 700 horsepower uh, and considering we're only chasing about 500 that's absolutely plenty um, you will also need either new bolts or the bolts from these rods as these rods do not fit the skinnier rods that come out of the 2.8s and the 3 litres and keeping in mind these are all 135 millimeter rods do not get these mixed up with the 140 millimeter rods because you're going to be running like 13 to 1 compression all right, so here it is. Just to give you a quick rundown, this is an M50 B25 cast iron block, which came, has come out of an E36 325i. Um, now, any engine predominantly from a 92 model E36 six-cylinder all the way up to about a 2005-2006 model 330i's and the E46's and the X5's all have interchangeable parts, which means uh, cranks are interchangeable, rods are interchangeable. Um, as long as all the piston bores are 84 millimeters, or all the pistons are all interchangeable. Um, so the good thing of that is we've actually been able to get all the best parts out of every engine across the eras. Um, keeping in mind that the newer the heads become, um, there's obviously more and more restrictions on the emissions. So the exhaust ports start getting smaller and smaller as the years move forward. The M50 head uh, actually has the largest ports of all of them. Uh, so what we're doing is we're using an M52 head. Uh, and that's been extensively ported. I'll uh, probably add a picture of the, um, the porting in here. Um, so we've taken a 2.8 litre crank um, using 135 millimetre rods which come out of the M50 non-Vanos. Uh, we're also using um, M52 B28 rod, um, pistons um, but we've got the piston rings from an M50 which have a, a split oil ring um, and also they have been clearance to uh, 18 thou for the top ring and 21 thou for the lower ring. Um, probably a little bit loose for a street car, uh, but considering this engine is probably going to be getting a little bit of punishment. Okay, we've upgraded the main caps to 12.9 hardness main caps with the hex heads. Um, uh, I've been advised by somebody who's been building these engines for a very long time not to use the ARP ones, um, mainly because they can actually warp the block but when it comes to head bolts, we most definitely will be using a um, ARP head studs uh, and a comedic head gasket. Uh, have been informed to use a cut ring head gasket, but I haven't been able to source one. Um, as far as timing is concerned, I don't have a lot of time to build this engine, so um, we've gone with a comedic, and we're going to see how we go. The factory head gaskets are okay for up to about 400 horsepower, from what I've been told. Um, but be prepared, you're probably going to blow that out once you start pushing boost anywhere past 15 psi um, so we will get on with the build um, main thing is now we're about to just um, the bottom end of the engine has been assembled 
um, where you're just going to tighten up all the main cap bolts, rod bolts, then we'll start installing oil pumps. Uh, splash guard has to be off an M50. Um, we did look at the M52 and M54 ones, um, but we do not require to uh, run the M52 one. The M51 just has enough clearance um, because obviously the bigger crank is a, a larger throw. Um, so let's get to it, I guess. All right, so when it comes to BMW engines, they are a little bit specific as in regards to tools and what have you. Um, now the torquing sequence is a little bit different because everyone's just used to naught newton meters or foot pounds, um, but these engines actually require something called a degree, so an angle. Um, so it uh, requires you setting everything, pretty much the rods and the main caps, all to 20 newton meters, and then uh, running them to either 50 degrees or 70 degrees. Now I've got a separate torque wrench for that. Um, so these are normal, your normal sort of torque wrenches, um, which you would probably have. They'll be perfectly fine to set the first 20 newton meters. Um, with a degree, you can either get yourself a, um, uh, you can either get yourself uh, just a texter or a white line and mark it and then approximate it. There's also a dial ring. Um, I actually borrow a torque wrench from BM Auto Works, um, who is helping me pretty much through this whole build. Um, uh, and it specifically measures the degrees. Now this is my only torque wrench, I've got a King Chrome one here. This is a more of an old school one, but it's the only one that goes down to 20 newton meters or 20 foot pounds. Um, so, so 20 newton meters. Um, all my other ones pretty much start at 40 and 50. Um, so we will get to talking pretty much everything to the specifics right now. So. So we'll start with the main caps. All right, now, if you're not already into BMW engines and you plan on getting into BMW engines, um, you're most definitely gonna have to buy yourself a set of these and a set of maybe in the two different sizes, half inch and in the um, in the quarter inch drives, uh, they are inverted torques, um, and you will also need a proper set of torques. I've got multiple of them because I've got a whole bunch of BMWs, so uh, detrimental in building or even just assembling and disassembling uh, the car itself. So, engine and gearbox, a lot of the bolts on the car will actually be inverted torques. Um, so, 100% a minimum requirement. All right, now we can start on the rods. That's the 20 newton meters done on all of them. Uh, and now we're gonna move over to the snap-on angle degree torque wrench, um, which again, a very expensive tool, but it is well worth um, whether finding a friend that has one or going to a workshop that has one or just borrowing it off somebody um, because you do not want to you know, hit and miss on half of these bolts. Uh, like I said, this engine is gonna go through a fair bit of strain, so uh, we do not want to leave it to chance. So. All right, so this is a snap-on angle torque wrench. Um, again, what you have to do is set this to angle. Uh, then you set your angle for the um, rods. It is 70 degrees after you do the initial 20 newton meters. And then for the main caps is 50 degrees angle. So I'll show you how that works. That's the rods done. Now let's get them onto the main caps. So we need to change the unit. Once again, if it focuses and you can see that, just drop down to 50 degrees. Set that, it's saved. And we start again. Hopefully this time, the engine can stay put. Alright, 
and that is the bottom of the engine all torqued up. Um, caps and rods are done. Uh, now, the next video will move on to oil pump, splash guard, sump. Um, but before you do all of that, you always start with the front, the front timing cover. You get your chains on, you get your pulleys on. Um, because the sump itself bolts into the uh, rear main seal housing and also with the front timing cover. So you want to have the front and the rear of the engine on before you actually start doing the sump. Um, so we'll get to that in the next video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Um, now this isn't a, a, um, a video on how to predominantly build an engine, but a lot of the specs and what have you I found are missing from a lot of the videos online. Um, and it's something that I've been looking for and searching for, um, so I thought it would be a good idea to um, put it all together into one video. I'd love to show you the different torque settings, how to actually set the angle using a proper tool, um, and mark my words, you will not regret this, do this part properly. So we'll see you in the next video.